The sky dominates in your Ventry Beach series. Can you talk to us about that? Yes, it's all about the skies for me. I try to use a limited palette to create a purer result and hopefully a better painting. I'm giving the sky two thirds of the canvas, letting it dominate the whole painting and it's creating the mood for the entire piece. It's leaving room for the viewer, plenty of space, as I really want the viewer to feel that they are stepping onto the beach. And what emotions are you trying to communicate with this series, Jenny? Well, that can differ. If I'm trying to create a painting with feeling of calm and tranquility, I always paint with the lightest touch, so it's almost impossible to see where I make my mark. So it's not all about a pretty picture for you? So, it's, no, it's not always about creating something pretty or something beautiful. It has to be something real, just like the Armada series. In contrast to the more calm and tranquil Ventry Beach paintings, the Armada was painted entirely by knife. So you can see every mark I make, and this is done on purpose. I want people to feel the violence of the sea and the violence of nature. So I've left plenty of paint there, plenty of marks, and you can really follow how I made the piece around the canvas. And you've created some very technical paintings, Jenny, with the Navigator series, which is very different to what we've just talked about. Can you tell us more? Yes, this is completely different for me, and it allows me to do some very precise and precision drawing, which is something I really love to do. Uh, the whole method and way I go about this, these pictures are completely different, so I'm painting in layers, several layers of the same colour, to build up the precision in the piece so that you really get a good, precise, navigational drawing. And Jenny, we've seen some comments come in on your website and comment books at exhibitions, such as a comment from Kathleen Daly in the US who said that her grandfather grew up in uh, Ventry around 1900, and this is just to quote what she said, that discovering your beautiful and amazing paintings of Ventry Beach are a treasure. Thank you, Kathleen Daly. Can you tell us about how you feel you've reached Kathleen and the Irish abroad? Yes, my work really does uh, seem to evoke an emotion or a memory for people, especially people living outside of Ireland. And it's great to make an emotional connection with somebody through your work. Kathleen obviously has been to Ventry and been to Ireland, um, and the paintings are starting to evoke memories of family, holidays, or time that she spent here. And that's, that's really great to hear. And, and Stephanie Murphy from Canada, a completely, a completely different approach here. Uh, she's quote, sent in a quote saying, I've been working all day on my computer. I stumbled on your work and I felt like I went for a walk. Thanks, I need that. Can you, can you talk to us about Stephanie's reaction to your work? Yeah, again, it's another type of connection, um, not necessarily an emotional connection uh, for Stephanie. But again, the work reached her just in a different type of way. She obviously needed to get out of what she was doing or where she was on that day. So it's like taking somebody on a journey through the painting so she felt that she had been for a walk on the beach. So is this a reaction that you get a lot? It is. It's a reaction I get quite a lot from people that they really feel that they've been somewhere else when they've seen the work. Jenny, your work Nightstorm is also very different from the works we've talked about today. Am I right in saying that there's a Cubist influence here? Yes, there is. I love Cubist work. Um, and what I've tried to do in the piece Nightstorm is strip the painting back, fragment it, so that what you see is much more powerful and there's a lot more context and depth to the painting. Um, and I, I really like that piece. So Jenny, now speaking to your art career, what are the influences on your work? Well, there's a couple of different influences. Firstly, it's definitely my environment, living here in the west coast of Ireland. You can't help but be influenced by the beautiful nature around us. For colour, I think it's money. The colours just come alive on his canvas. But for light, it has to be Turner. Nobody does it like Turner. And he seems to be able to measure the mood of nature and transfer that to a canvas. And for me, when that's done right, it's just magic. <laughs>